Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. So this week I'm doing a wedding guest dress haul. I have a wedding coming up in the summer. One of my friends is getting married in the UK. Um, and yeah, so I've just, I've basically just been on the hunt for a outfit for that. And so I thought I'd show you the bits that I've picked up. I think I have found the dress that I'm gonna wear, uh, but you'll have to let me know in the comment section which dress is your favorite and which one you think I should keep for my friend's wedding. This is also gonna be a try on haul, so I'll pop clips here of what the pieces look like on. And I have also tried on everything, so I'll talk you through the fit and the, the sizing and everything. Um, for reference, I'm a UK size six and I am five foot seven. Um, this is also a mix of brands, so I've got a few pieces from Zara. I've got one from and other stories and i've got some from pretty lavish as well all the pieces that i'll show you will be linked down below in the description box you can shop everything from down there and i'll also leave my instagram and tiktok link down there as well if you guys want to see how i style up outfits on a daily basis so i think first i'll start with my favorite dress this is at the minute the front uh, contender for my friend's wedding this dress is from and other stories i saw this in store and i'd never seen it like online or anything and i talked to the saleswoman about it and it literally just come out when i was in store so i was really lucky that they had it in my size because and other stories stuff can sell out really quickly so this is the dress it is this stunning silver racer style top dress and it is midi length and it just the fit of it is so perfect. It is so flattering, really figure hugging, but isn't like too tight. It just glides over the figure really beautifully in this lovely buttery soft satin fabric. This satin dress fits so good. I think quite often with satin dresses, the fit can be a little bit bigger than uh, usual because the fabric isn't as stretchy, but this one is absolutely perfect. Um, but that is also reflected in the price point because this one is pretty expensive. This one is £95, but I, um, when I bought it, it said if you signed up, I think it was like sign up to their mailing list and you get 10% off your first order. So I did that and it was valid in store as well. That's something to bear in mind. Um, this as well, they also do in black, red and purple, I believe but the silver colour, so, so silvery grey colour is the one that caught my eye and is just more my colour palette really. Um, usually I would go for like a bright colour for a wedding but when I saw this I just absolutely fell in love with it and I did think it would be something that I could wear like again and again and um, it would just be a classic staple that would stay in my wardrobe so I do think that the, it is worth the money. And next I'll show you the dresses that I've got from Zara. So I'll start with this one. I actually had my eye on this dress for quite a while but it was just always sold out. Um, but the other day it was available so I just thought I would order it and just give it a try and it did not disappoint. This is absolutely gorgeous. It's this lovely little floral style midi dress with these gorgeous ruffles all the way down it it's so flattering um this one the fit is again insane like if anything this one might be a little bit too tight on me but um i i would potentially size up to the size small in this so i got this in an extra small and it is a little bit tight on my chest and on my hips the availability of this dress is really like not good like it's always out, out of stock online and stuff so i don't know if i'd even be able to get it in a size small so um, for that reason, I think I'm going to send this one back personally, but the fit of it is so good. If you can get it, I would 100% recommend. And uh, yeah, the quality feels really good. It's in a lovely like organza fabric. It's so nice for summer as well. I think the floral print and the pink and green tones are really like complimentary. And yeah, I think it's really, really gorgeous. This one is $49.99 as well. So it's pretty affordable for a good quality dress. Next, I got this sort of bandeau style satin dress. This is in this really nice sort of, it's like a ombre pink to yellow. I don't know if it's being picked up that well on camera. You'll see it better in the cutaway, but this one, I really like the style of this. I actually wore a dress very similar to this to a friend's wedding last year in blue from Meshki. I really like the style of that one, so I thought maybe get something similar in a different color from somewhere else. And um, this one I got in a size extra small and it is $45.99. Quality of this one, the satin feels feels nice, but it's not like as nice as the other satin from my Another Stories dress. Um, and also the fabric is also like a different color on the inside, which I think makes it look a little bit cheap. 
Um, so yeah, that I don't love. And the other issue with this is that it's, it just sort of makes you look a bit shapeless, which I really don't like. So this one is a definite no from me. Um, they also have this in a few different colors, but I have a feeling it's gonna be the same sort of fit. Like it's just like a box. Like it just doesn't do anything for your curves. So th for that reason, I wouldn't recommend this one. I it's just such a shame. Like if they just took it in a bit either side of the waist, it would give a really nice silhouette. Um, but yeah, this one, I just think it's a bit boxy and uh, it's just not my favorite at all. Last dress that I got from Zara is this lovely sage green linen uh, midi dress. So this one is really, really gorgeous. The fabric of this is really good. It's linen, really good quality. And the fit of it is bang on as well. It's actually got on the back, it's got like a um, elasticated bit, which really helps to tie it in here. And then the straps are also adjustable. So you can just tie these straps to pull the dress up slightly. I think it is really, really stunning. I love the sage green color. I think it looks really lovely for spring and summer. Um, but also the linen fabric. I actually think this dress would be really good for like if you had a, a wedding abroad. I think this would be a really nice option. I do really like this dress, but I just think I prefer the And Other Stories one for this particular wedding. I don't know. Uh, let me know what you think. So I do really like it, but I don't know if I'm going to keep it for the wedding. This could be an option though to take potentially on holiday, like keep it and just take it on holiday with me because I do think that would be really nice. And this one, again, I got in a size extra small and this one is a little bit cheaper at $32.99. And for the quality of this one, I do think this is really good and really affordable. I would definitely recommend and the fit I would say is bang on, so stay true to size in that one. I've just realised I've got another dress from a brand that I forgot to mention, so this is actually from Fourth and Reckless. This dress is not actually available anymore in this colour, um, from what I could see online, because I tried to link it the other day, and they didn't have it available, but they have it in white, and so I know this is like a wedding guest dress outfit, so this all in white is obviously not going to be appropriate, but I wanted to show you guys this anyway because I do think it's really nice and if you just want a white dress for holiday or like a different occasion I'll link the the white option down below but this is another option that I was thinking for myself for my friend's wedding so it's in this lovely nude two-tone effect in a, again this lovely satin material this feels really really luxurious really buttery soft um, so yeah, I really like this one. It's elasticated on the back, which is really good. It's really well fitted and it's got adjustable straps as well, which I love. And this one is in a UK size six. So um, again, it fits really good. So I would just say stick true to your size. Uh, but yeah, so this is another option for me. Again, it's like a midi length, really, really nicely fitting on the figure. I absolutely love this one. And even if I don't wear this to my friend's wedding, there's definitely gonna be a staple in my wardrobe and it's definitely gonna be something I'm gonna wear for different occasions. And the all white option would just look so stunning on holiday, I think. Next, I have some stunning dresses from Pretty Lavish. So this dress I've had for a little while and I am obsessed with it. This is again, a lovely bandeau style dress and um, it's actually backless as well. So it's got this lovely uh, cowl drop at the back. And then it's elasticated here at the back as well. So it's super secure with those straps and it's just so flattering. This I won't be wearing to my friend's wedding, but I thought if you have any occasions coming up, this would be so lovely. Or even like a bridesmaid's dress, I think this would be really stunning. Um, but they actually have this online in a lovely bright pink color, which I think would actually be really nice for a wedding. So um, I'm showing you guys this one and how it looks on, but think of it in the bright pink and I'll link the pink one down below. I'll link this one as well, but I'll link the pink one as well because I think the pink will look so lovely for a wedding. And, and I got my usual size, which is a UK six and it fits perfectly. So again, definitely stick true to size in that one. And next I have these really lovely knit dresses. These would be so lovely for a abroad wedding, I think. Like the, these are maxi length, so they're very long. On me with heels, they pretty much still touch the floor. So that is something to bear in mind. Um, that if you're a bit shorter than me, they might need to be taken up a little bit. But yeah, this one is so gorgeous. It's in this bright orange color. The color is actually described as Aperol on the website. And I would definitely say that's accurate. Um, it's in this 
uh, tie neck style at the top which I think is really flattering and then it is backless as well which I really love I would just wear a stick on bra with this and you'll be good to go and the fit of it again is so good because it's in this fine sort of crochet knit I don't know if this one is crochet actually but it's like a like a summer knit and um, it's really stretchy so it's very figure hugging and this one I got in a size extra small and I cannot recommend this one enough and I love a bright colour as well for a summer wedding so then lastly I got the same dress again but in this really gorgeous green colour I love a pop of colour in the summer and green and orange are definitely my go-to shades this one is just so flattering it's a lovely warm green and again it's in the maxi length so it's perfect for an occasion I would personally wear this for an abroad wedding again. I, just, I think it's such a nice fabric and just so figure hugging and flattering. And this one I also got in a size extra small and it fits perfectly. And then again, it's just the tie neck and it is backless as well. Um, if you did like these dresses as well, but if you did want a more neutral option, um, they do have a nude uh, style dress as well, but it isn't as long, it's more of a midi length. Um, but I would recommend that as well if you wanted one just to take on holiday and maybe not wear to a wedding That would be a really good option uh, But yeah, really really love these dresses I think they're a really good staple to have in your wardrobe and that is everything so well done if you got to the end You're gonna have to let me know which dress you preferred and what you think I should wear to my friend's wedding um, Because I'm still a little bit stuck. I do think the another stories one is my favorite I just think it's so timeless and classic but I think my second favourite is probably the floral one. Um, I just think it is maybe a little bit tight. Maybe I should try and get it in the size small. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think I should keep. Everything else will be linked down below in the description box. You can shop everything down there. Um, I forgot to say as well, but I'll also link what I'm wearing currently. This top is actually also new. So I'll link that down below and my shirt as well. And if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.